let's go over the unity event all right we have two different milestones one is creative differences the other is explosive combo creative differences is really simple you need to blitz a whole bunch with unity characters and win blitz battles and that'll eventually just finish itself as you do blitzes throughout the week uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later but that's a very easy milestone to attain the harder one is the explosive combo which is actually uh basically just opening orbs so these unity orbs are worth 647 apiece you need a total of 42,000 points in order to finish it off which is going to be very difficult to get uh, and I'm gonna go over that here in a sec here let me switch to my um, spreadsheet so we have built a spreadsheet on stream tonight so if you're watching congratulations you got to see it in action if you'd like to watch it uh, it'll be on my YouTube channel later and uh, it's basically me going through the heartbreaker milestones reapplying labels to them for unity and swapping out some of the numbers in which case most of them went down so spoiler alert this event is not as good as the Cyclops event as far as giving shards and materials and whatnot it is very similar though uh, the structure is exactly the same almost I mean there's a couple more milestones on the blitz wins here on the left or I'm sorry on the right and then the uh, orbs on the left you actually only need 65 to complete them whereas you needed 75 with Cyclops so a little bit less but it's still gonna be difficult to attain so what they did here is they actually changed the uh, point requirements a little bit so it's, but the structure is essentially the same for winning with unity characters you will get X number of points um, over here I built a calculator for you so when a character win with an event character you get 20 points towards the creative differences milestone when with the blitz battle uh, you get another nine points so with a team of five and a win you get 109 points with five teams at 109 points uh, you get 545 points so towards your 11,000 you'll need about 20.1 rotations right so that's basically um, 11,000 divided by 545 so you need to do a little bit over 20 rotations of those five characters however however the problem is not this milestone the problem is this orb milestone over here with this it'll give you 12 total orbs towards the 65 you need to complete over here and that's where this expected progress comes in so the unity orbs which actually this is kind of funny you only get six per twenty dollars with cyclops you actually got seven so they tweak that down a little bit um i have not seen an orb offer for cores but we did have one during cyclops's event and what happened was you get two to four for 800 cores and i haven't seen that yet so it may come out tomorrow or later in the week who knows um, or not at all so i put i put a disclaimer on here i did strike through so don't expect it but it could be there i don't know uh blitz milestones for unity fragments um we might get those i don't know um and it's also down here right so we were seeing uh three uh, total orbs from each major blitz which is a character blitz in the cyclops event uh, we don't know if we're going to get those yet so we'll have to see tomorrow when mr fantastic comes out um, and then this is the part where it gets really really hairy okay so right now we are projecting 127 orb fragments towards unity orbs per win so remember during character blitzes which we will have two during this event so it's six total days of blitzing right um you got an average of supposedly 127 fragments per win. This is not known yet. We don't know if these numbers still make sense. We don't know if they still apply. Uh, it, it's just going to take some trial and error to figure this out and then hopefully aggregate a whole bunch of data to figure that out. But let's just go with what it was last time, or at least around that, and let's, let's average off of that. So if you win 125 blitzes a day, <laughs> which is a lot <laughs> times 127 orb fragments times six days <laughs> you'll get oh my god <laughs> let's see orbs from blitz wins you'll get 7.9 per day and then what we want to do here is we want to say six days times 7.9 orbs per day i'll give you uh 47 I'm sorry, uh, days of blitzing times the orbs. It's it, It'll give you the 47 orbs you need. So that's what you need, plus the six from milestones that we're expecting. 
the 12 from the event milestones over here from doing your unity blitzing and then if you don't buy offers with cores or money and supposedly there may be a calendar i don't know people are, said that it may have been a rumor in chat i don't know if that's going to happen if it does we can add that here and it'll figure into this equation that doing that will get you to about 65 orbs which is what you need to complete these milestones and that is insane that is a lot of blitzing it's just blitzing your ass off i i remember very distinctly in the cyclops stuff i got right to around milestone 26 and i just i just ran out of gas i was just so tired of it i couldn't do it anymore all right so that's where that's that's, that's essentially where we're at Let's try to figure out like how <laughs> who's, gonna, who's gonna blitz that much i mean without a bot right without a bot right if you got a bot you know well go fuck yourself right but with this i mean it's just so much blitzing there has to be other avenues to get orbs there just has to be or it's gonna be another event that's gonna cause a whole bunch of angry reddit posts and a whole bunch of keyboard warriors going after cerebro and other people that, that's just what i think but let's look at the rewards real quick and just go through them so real easy ones here we got negasonic uh shards we get three per milestone through 16 and we get four through 24 that gives us 80 total shards towards her right so if you do all the milestones for creative differences which is um, 20 milestones at two apiece you get 40 so you'll get enough to unlock her if you hit all those because you need 100 to unlock her right You'll get the 12 orbs for sure if you complete all these unity milestones. And that'll get you to right around milestone 12 or 13, right? And up to that point, you're just getting a bunch of purple gear, right? You're getting ABCs, you're getting milestone orbs for some reason. Those are kind of useless now. But um, 10 purple cats, purple cats, ABCs, purple cats, uh, pretty much down to here. And then the good stuff really starts at milestone 25. But the problem is, if you look at the incremental jumps from these different uh, levels of milestones here, look at the first one, it's 100, mile, 100 points, right? Easy. Actually, just opening one orb gets the first two milestones, right? And then after that, it's 500, 500, 500, then it goes to 700, then it goes to 1000, then it goes to 1400, and then we're up to 1800. So 1800 is basically three different orbs to open to jump a milestone level right and then 2200 is uh more than three <laughs> and 2700 is is more than four right so it's gonna be like you're gonna need so many orbs to jump a milestone it's gonna be so much blitzing for those shards and hoping to get lucky big drops here and there it's just it's gonna wear you out i can already see this happening i'm gonna i'm gonna get to probably somewhere around 25 26 again and just be like i'm done with this right because it's just too much unless there's another avenue to get orbs that doesn't cost money i just don't see myself doing this but again it depends on what you need if you need these mutant tier tier 14s if you need the skill tier 14s and all that stuff and the orange gear right there's 200 sbcs down here at the bottom uh, if you can reach milestone 30 that that's not bad it's good it's not the best but it's good right um and then over here for the creative differences stuff you know you get gear credits which are those purple orbs from the blitz store and you get a whole bunch of purple gear abcs and catalysts of various types i didn't bother getting the exact types down here because it's just not worth it but, you know, you can see here the incremental difference on these is actually pretty reasonable. 300, 500, 700. That's not so bad. These ones are insane jumps over here on the left. That's just how it is. So the idea is if you take a copy of this calculator, you can edit these yellow but or these yellow cells here and say, I'm only going to do, you know, 80 blitz wins a day. And let's say I only get 100 shards on average to drop, right? So we got six days of blitzing and I'll do 80 times 100 for six days. Then I'll get me about 24 orbs. I'll get six from the milestones if, if they happen. I hope they do. Maybe they up that. I don't know. And then I'll get 12 from the events because I'll finish my unity ones, right? They'll get me to 42. So if I'm at 42 orbs here and you can see, you see how this column over here is actually adjusting based on the number here. So I set that up. It's called conditional formatting. It's really nice to have, uh, but it'll tell you to expect x amount of milestones right depending on what your your projected output is now there may be other avenues to get orbs between now and then and i'll probably have to add a section for that of just incidental orbs or something like that so you can fill that in um, but i think i covered everything here so the idea is if you buy like say the orb offer and you buy six you know let's let's put that in there well that'll get you up to this milestone right milestone 26 and if i were to buy it twice i could get 12 and it'll take me to the next one you can see you only get one more 
$100 milestone there because <laughs> these jumps are huge, um, even though you're spending $20. So uh, just keep that in mind, but you can update these numbers as you like. Um, you may not need to if you don't really use it, but uh, that's the idea is trying to figure that out. So essentially, let's say you get 120 frags per win. To get max milestones, you're going to need something like 120 wins a day, right? Actually, that doesn't even get us there. We need 125, let's say. Let's just play with this a little bit. No, it's 130. God, that's not even enough. Oh, come on. Is it 131? Yes. Okay, 131 a day at 120 frags per chance. Uh, it just, it's nuts, right? This is this is way too much. I'm not going to win 130 blitzes a day. That's just, that's just crazy talk. So, in any case, that's where we're at with this, essentially. It's just insane amounts of blitzing unless they provide other avenues to get these orbs that isn't monetary, right? So uh, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, if you'd like, I'll put the link in the chat description and all that stuff. Um, you're welcome to come check this out, make a copy for yourself. Uh, I think everything's ready to go unless they add other categories here. Then I'll update it and add those. Uh, but that's pretty much it. This is this is the whole event, and these are all the rewards. And I hope you all have better luck than I do because I know I'm not going to get through all this stuff. But <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So good luck, Commander. I hope you can blitz your ass off like a mofo. <laughs>